This is Brian Atlanta Hot Tub Center, Tub Talk 101, and today uh, we are going to talk about how to replace your own Clear A bulb. Now, of course, you can always call your service center, your dealer who you purchased the hot tub from, and have them come out and do it. A lot of them will actually have kind of a deal for you. They'll include the installation of the Clear A bulb, um, as well as uh, the service to install it for one low price, right? So I would check into that because it may not even be worth your while doing it. Um, but ultimately you're always going to do it a little bit cheaper yourself. So here we go. This is the clear ray unit here. Okay. Right here in the front. Once you pull this panel off, you can see we popped off these two corners. We've already taken the front off of it. And right here in front is your clear ray bulb. Rule number one, turn off the power. Okay. So you want to make sure that you turn the power off and you're going to unscrew these four screws. Okay, now guys, I'm not gonna actually replace my clear ray bulb in this unit because quite frankly, the clear ray bulb in this unit is still good. So I'm just gonna kind of show you how to do it. You're gonna take out these four screws. And guys, use a number two Phillips because if you try to use a number one or a number three or something, um, a different type of bit, you'll end up stripping these screws. That's just a pain in the butt, right? You take it off and on futuristically. Of course, you can try to buy some more screws, but these actual screws are high-low screws, so they are a special screw. It's not something you're going to run and pick up at Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, you know, something you can probably find on Amazon, you know, or you could try to order it from your dealer accordingly. So, right here you got a plug. You're going to disconnect this plug, okay? Once this is disconnected, this basically means that there's no power to the bulb anymore. There's a little rubber backing here, and once you pull the rubber backing out, towards you then you can pull the bulb out accordingly okay and there's the bulb now this bulb is good you never want to put fingerprints on any of the bulbs right because then you'll limit that uv light so you never want to put any fingerprints or anything like that on the bulb i normally tell people to use a uh, latex glove when they do this but if you're really careful you're just touching the ends you'll be in good shape so if i was grabbing a new clear ray bulb i'd grab a clear ray bulb it would kind of look like this you would uh, put the new plastic piece back on the new bulb and you would slide this guy back in here, just like so. Wiggle it on there, make sure the rubber piece on the back is good and tight, all the way up against it, right? And you're gonna reconnect this. It's very simple to see how to connect it. You can see it because the little part that snaps over, they'll both be facing in one direction. So you'll see exactly where they come together. So that part's very, very simple. I always tell people to look at the back of this to make sure you put this plate on right, right? Because if you look at the back, you can see you wouldn't want the lettering to be upside down. It wouldn't really hurt anything if you did, but again, uh, you know, I'm a little OCD, so I kind of like my stuff to be on there correctly and look clean. Make sure that gasket, you saw me playing with that gasket in the beginning. Just make sure you got that gasket where it needs to be. Then we're just gonna screw this guy back together. There is a final step. Now the final step is resetting your clear ray bulb system. And when I put these screws in, I kind of put it in like uh, lug nuts on a car. So you can see how simple that is. It's very easy. Nothing to it. All right, Dusty, bear with me, guys. I'm going to disappear out of the picture here for a second because I'm going to go plug the hot tub back in so I can show you how to reset it. I am going to reset it today on an 880. Um, there's obviously different ways to reset it, uh, 680, 780, 880, and 980, but it's all pretty simple. It's a couple of buttons and hitting the reset button. So bear with me just a second. All right, this guy's gonna fire back up for us. You can come get a little bit closer here to the panel here, Dusty. Of course, it's gonna come on and start going through its filter cycles. You're gonna hit the uh, little gear wrench on the screen. You're gonna go to water care. 
you're gonna go to clear ray you can see that i got 283 days on my clear ray ball that's why i didn't replace the one that's in it you're gonna hit that and you're just gonna reset this all the way back to 365 days and once you go back all the way to 365 days and you can also see that it's and it's already set there anyway, right? I mean, the system's basically saying, hey, we know you're gonna reset this back to 365 days anyway, right? So ultimately, at the end of the day, it's set there. But you do wanna make sure that's at 365, and if it's not, you've got the plus and minus arrow. Make sure to put it to 365 days. And then you just hit the check mark. That's it, press this check mark. And uh, it'll say, you know, are you sure you wanna do this action? You'll hit it again, and it'll reset, and that'll be that. So pretty simple. And uh, any questions in your owner's manual under Clear Ray Ball, it'll show you on any of the models throughout the years. No matter if you're, no matter if you have a 687, 888, or 98, all of that is in your owner's manual. You can also call us. Uh, just about everybody here that you're going to talk to is going to know how to do this, so uh, feel free to do that. Of course, you can also comment in the comments below. We're more than happy to give you some instructions on how to take care of it. So, this is Brian Atlanta Hot Tub Center and how to replace your own Clear Ray Ball. Thank you.